Welcome everyone, Pokemon Insurgents, uh, real quick, uh, we grinded everybody, everybody's like level 65 or something, 55, 65, 65, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, or else, uh, Def's gonna come find you and, uh, he's gonna, uh, give you, like, a dollar. We also never went in this lighthouse, it just occurred to me. We didn't even finish exploring the city. Um, but also, uh, question today, have you ever been on a cruise ship? I have not. I have. Have you really? Where'd you go? I mean, I guess it's the sea. That was kind of a dumb question, but you know, never mind. I went to the Bahamas. Oh, did you? Yes. Was there anything cool in the Bahamas? Uh, I haven't gone. In, I haven't been there. It's been years since I actually went there. I was like a kid when I went. Oh. Was it nice and peaceful though? So I think we showed up like during a typhoon or something. Oh. <laughs> That's probably not good. Like at all. Greatest chef. Oh, none. We can't cook for this person. Or this person can't cook for us. Interesting to have a lighthouse. Also, I don't know how you get up to the very top to get that rare candy. Probably go through the top door I just didn't see. But it's fine. Whatever. Let's go beat up a gym. Surely the gym will be easy, right? Right? Well, hey -o there, champ. Diana here has themed her gym around dreams. That way she can use her two favorite types, Psychic and Ghost. Dark types are your friend here, for sure. Ghost types, too. Oh, another thing. There's a lot of trainers here, but they don't give as much experience as you might want. That's because they're supposed to avoid them. Take this for luck. Oh. So we're trying to avoid trainers? Gym of dreams. Uh, where walls are the sightless and all as it seems. No stone unturned. So walk right on, hero, and just find the reward. Cool. Cool. <laughs> All right, I guess we're here. Um. Get that puzzle really quick. <laughs> yeah. Here's the problem with Charizard, though, right? Its Mega Evolution is gonna hurt us a lot. Uh, what are ghost types also normally weak to? Maybe we can get lucky with coal and, like, punch things. Ghost types are only weak to dark and ghosts. Do we have a dark move? Hmm. We have Shadow Claw. Can anything learn Shadow Claw? Laxnor could. Uh, new Moon, Charge Beam, Aerial Ace, Return. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well then. This might be an interest. Oh, we- I forgot we picked up Drain Punch. Ooh, do we want Cold to learn Drain Punch? Uh... I feel like Drain Punch is pretty solid. But I really like Ice Shard. Do we get- I feel like Cold never lives long enough to get a sword stance off. It's probably true. I think we're going to get a sword stance. We can always relearn it. Uh, Drain Punch. Who else can learn Drain Punch? SSS? Uh... I kind of like SSS moveset, though. He just gets countered by Gengar, but that's okay. That's fine. Alright. Let's see what happens. Welcome, Challenger. I am Diana, leader of the Selene City Gym. The gym I run is themed around dreams, and as such, I specialize in both psychic and ghost types. Hope you found my gym puzzle clever. I walked straight. <laughs> that is the answer. If you understood the poem, I'm sure you had no trouble getting through my gym at all. When it said to walk right ahead, well, I couldn't be any more literal. But anyways, enough of that, right? Let's get this show on the road. Get ready to lose. We very well might. We might have to do a team change or something. Bring it. Show me your moves. Ah, I see the problem. So what does Sableye do against our Gato? Nothing. So do we like just shell smash a bunch? Well, you probably don't want to overdo it. Oh, I mean, maybe you do. 
Yeah, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably why. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, but what about a lax snore? And we just earthquake. Full restore. That's fine. Use your full restores here. I dare you. Synthesis. Let's go. Maybe I should have gave... Nah, I feel like leftover is better. Ah, uh, Gengar. Alright. Do we think... I mean, this worked last time, right? Surely this isn't like some Zoroark or anything, right? You should just earthquake it. I really should have. Just guess who's gonna Mega Evolve. Sludge Wave? We eat those? We're poisoned? I feel like this is such a cheap trick. But at the same time, I wonder if like... Natsu's like the best thing you could get in for this gym. Gardevoir. Well, not if it's a dark type. Charizard surely faster than a Gardevoir, right, Death? If the Gardevoir is Mega, you might be in trouble. What if we're also a Mega? Then I think you'd still be in trouble. So what you're saying is we heal up. Gumshot it? Yeah. Although you might go last, so probably should go and heal that off. I don't know if we take a hit, though, is the problem. Do we have a four store? No. Max Potion. Let's see how much this does. What are you going to do? Okay, it's not the... It's oh, right, he traced you. Yep. Or he traced you, I guess is actually what it is. Oh, weird. Uh, Gug Shot, maybe we'll live. We didn't. Okay. That's, I guess, fine. It's not a Mega? I really thought this was going to be a Mega. Well, we're Mega Evolving. Shadow Ball. Although, I wonder if it'd be better to Dragon Dance and then Shadow Sneak things. Now that I'm thinking about it. Gothitelle. What does a Gothitelle do to us? What if it's a Mega Gothitelle? I don't know. I'm going to Shadow Ball it in the face. It is a Mega Gothitelle. Def, did you rot this game? <laughs> what a design for that, too. It's actually pretty really funny looking. All right. Dark Pulse. That does a lot of damage. Although, it's time for Cole to come in here and shine. Oh, they're not shard. Good job, Cole. Good job. Good job, Cole. Well deserved. Shanlor. Ooh, what eats Shanlor? Demix? Demix eats Shanlor. I'm not sure about that. We might survive a ghost type move, though. Uh, it's probably Laugh Orb. It's Laugh Orb. No, it's not Laugh Orb. I wonder. Oh, you know what? We probably should have waited. Uh, New Moon was up. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, do we live. We, we actually should live fire moves pretty well. Because of thick fat. Oh, yeah, we have thick fat, right? Yeah. yeah, we have thick fat. So we should be able to heal up Black Snore. Especially if he's going to blow the load like that. Oh, he's a white herb. That's fine. Can your white herb handle our max potions? Although a crit would be terrible. Surely you won't do a crit, though, right? Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, she has to do something. Or not. Alright. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna Razor Leaf. Uh, number HP for the win, I guess. Yep, yep. It was uh, calculated. Now, Def, I didn't read that right, right? Uh, no, you definitely saw that right. Hmm. So here's the problem with Cresselia. Yep, yep. And I just have a you're gonna call Mond a bunch. Oh, you have Signal Beam. We lived. You have Levitate. What was I thinking, Def? You thought I'd pressure like a lot of pre, like a lot of general with one head? That's fine though. We have Thick Fat. We can eat one more. Razor Leaf. I see. It's a battle of the stalls. We also have Glade. So, but you know. I don't know if he's faster than a Cresselia. I mean, do you have Ice Shard? So it doesn't have to be faster. 
No, I mean, but I, I was obviously getting... you do enough damage to it. Obviously, you do enough damage to the ice shark to matter past the comes of reflection. No, but I think we just lost. Is the problem because we're frozen and we don't have four restores. Um, you know what? Maybe it's worth reviving Ace. Probably is worth reviving Ace. And shadow sneaking it at this point. Oh, this thing is so bulky. I think we lose because of that because of that freeze. That's unfortunate. And then yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a way. Nah, I don't think so. So close, so close. What are you gonna do with this? Knock off, but that also doesn't work. But now it's locked in the knock off. But I still, that's probably not enough, right? Probably not. Oh wait, it's locked in the knock off. Are gonna switch? Uh, maybe it will not. Do we just go max? I think it's gonna be enough to beat Gengar. You can try though. I'm gonna try. We're at max now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna re re heal. I'm gonna also heal up Ace, of course. Probably should have used max potions there, but whatever. Uh, just in case. Nah, we're not living anything at this point. We're we're all or nothing. We should be the fastest thing though. Guard of War. Scrappy. Uh, we can just return, right? Yeah. Wait, we have Scrappy. Yeah, we have Scrappy. Oh, we do have Scrappy. That's wow. right. You and I talk about this at one point in time. I forgot we had Scrappy. Hey, do you think player up or return's gonna do more? Return, right? That still doesn't KO. That's still fine. Because now she has to panic and heal off. <laughs> we really didn't need the healing then. I completely forgot we had Scrappy. Gato might be the strongest thing on our team if we can get it to set up. I wonder if you were like dark psychic top. Doesn't matter, you're dead. Get That's out what of I here. was wondering. Like, it's probably a dark psychic type now. If it changes the type, anyway. That was a stunning battle. Yeah, put cake in your face. It seems I've been toppled. Guess that had to happen eventually. Congratulations. Here's your prize. This will let uh, higher level Pokemon obey you. It can also attract rare wild Pokemon in certain areas, such as the Frenzivory. Oh, uh, take this too. It's a gift for me. Ooh, psychic. That team contains a move psychic. It's probably the most well-known psychic type move. I mean, it's got some top name after it and stuff. It's very strong and very reliable. It's definitely an invaluable asset for any trainer. Next, I'll assume you want to go to Ampharot City, where there's going to be an Ampharos, probably. My boyfriend, Calwraith, runs the gym there. His team specializes in rain, so you might want to prepare for that. Oh, and don't just forget you can exit the gym by going straight down. Do you have to battle the people if you don't? Oh well. Oh uh, wait, you mean go around? Probably not. Or probably. Uh, there was a person that walked that way? That was the perfection it, guy. Yeah. Tane was his name? Tane was it? Tane? Yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest, Kato's pulled its weight a fair bit of times too since we've got it. It was what, our second Delta Pokemon? Yeah. I completely forgot it had sc Scrappy though. Uh, when I was editing last like sets of videos, there's a point where you bring up, it's like, wait, this thing's got Scrappy? I'm like, oh yeah. And it's like, oh, I guess we can hit ghost moves. Ghost tops. That thing... <laughs> uh, there isn't any trainers that I'd worry about. It's too close to the ruin and people are worried that it might get damaged. Huh. These look like some Deoxys looking rocks. Anything on this route, Death? I was about to check. Oh, 
Probably not. Doesn't look like there is. That I can see. Doesn't look very long. Nope. Yeah. Dragon Ruins. Oh, that's right. What's his face is coming here or something like that, right? Is there a sign in the way? Dragon Ruins closed. Anything in the Dragon Ruins? Draco Jet? What's Draco Jet? I mean, I would assume it's like priority dragon move. Dragons always strike first. What's, uh, what are we looking at here? Charizard can learn it? Uh, what, uh. I don't know if, like, better. Shadow Snake's 40. Draco Jet's 40. Eh, we'll hold we'll off for now. I mean, the only thing we would use it against is, like, Dragon Top. Skeptile, you're not a dragon. I mean, I guess you Mega Evolve into a dragon. I guess that's fair. But yeah, anything in the Dragon Ruined? Ruin? Nothing yet. Oh. Charizard, you're not a dragon. Here's what I'm learning about this route, Def. This place. Bunch of Faker. That's what I'm learning. Everything here is a Faker. Bunch of Jokers. Speaking of Joker. I really don't know where I was going with that. I was going to try to bring something. You're definitely not a dragon in any sense and way. Um, I was going to bring a Persona 5 thing, but or a Persona in general, but, you know. That didn't happen. Do you tend to use a dragon on your team? I don't Wildfire. like dragons, <laughs> actually. I mean, there are a couple I like, but I don't use them Flygon? very often. Yeah, I'm not much of a fan of Flygon. I what? prefer, like, I prefer Metagross over Flygon. Uh, primary cost to burn the opponent. If it's full, it's grass, I will burn all their Pokemon. Wait, what? Weak to something. What does Wildfire do? Burns the foe. If it's grass, that burns all in their party that are weak to fire. Oh. Doesn't do damage. Okay. It's just a very strong Will-O-Wisp. If you burn a grass type, then you burn the rest of the team. It's like OP Will-O-Wisp. Magnet. When you were a child, did you ever play with magnets? Yeah, I don't know. A kid who probably didn't. I would try to always uh, fight with magnets. Like build some magnet things and then I'll try to get a fight with them. Like, you know, in my head. Top thing. I remember these things called like magnets or something like that. I can't remember what they actually were called. So don't ask. But, they were pretty fun to use. And play with and build and stuff. Oh, rock climb. That's how you get that. I see. Zinc! Give that to Glade. Max Repel. Look at that death. Look at me finding all these items. Oh, you know what just occurred to me? We're going to have to find, like, Curum or something. Well, he's on the title screen. Oh, is Curum on? Oh, yeah, Curum is on the title screen. That's unfortunate. You know what? Just uh, to make sure here, so I don't have to go all the way back. I'm going to just save. Do you prefer Curum or Reshiram? So why those in particular? I mean, Zekrom or Reshiram. Zekrom. Zekrom. Zekram? Zekrom. <laughs> Save the game. Yep. Nicole, I'm so glad you decided to show up. This is the moment of my triumph. Every time I failed, you were there to witness it. After we tried to create the perfect Delta Pokemon. After we experimented with Mega Evolution in the incident with Pokeris and Mauld. And Damien. <laughs> Don't forget about Damien. Now that our experiment with armor failed too, you might think we're running out of ideas. Tell me, Nicole, Nora, do you know the myth of the Univin dragon? Legend speaks of a gargantuan dragon that once reigned over all of Unova. Its power was, un was supervised by two brothers, the princes of the region. However, these brothers constantly fought over their beliefs. And ideals. One seek truth, one show for ideals, and finding no middle ground, they split the great dragon into three. Reshiram, Truth, Zekrom, Ideals, emerged where Kirim was left as the dragon's empty husk. This ruin is very, very ancient. While the dragon did rule in Unova, the war between the brothers was in Torin. 
In fact, the great splitting was at this very spot. I was gonna say, when you were talking about ruins, like he was like, you know, it, it was these ruins, and I had something witty to say. It was like, is it because they're in ruins? But I've already forgot what it was. <laughs> I'll go on with the story. I'll shut up. <laughs> A shrine was built here in the hopes that one day the dragon might be formed once again and bring peace to the land. That day is today. While Ru while Rukura has been busy experimenting, the most important job in the perfection cult was left to me. It was difficult. I needed three different legendary Pokemon, but I succeeded. And now, the original dragon was said to be a sign of leadership, of wholeness. It represented the uh, uh, represented opposing beliefs, finding neutral ground and working together. The idea of harmony and of perfection. Once we summon the creature, we'll be unstoppable. The only thing left is to begin. Rushrim, Zekrom, Kiram. It's time to return to your origins. Join together and become whole once more. Ignis ex et fulgra finit udum. Or udum, I guess is actually what it is. And now, the great dragon of Udava, the divine perfect god. It's a what blob of ghost. Emerge the great name here. Uh, what'd you say? Maybe you didn't hear me, dragon. I said emerge the great name here. Boy, that'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Are you reading that off a scroll? Yeah, why? I'm pretty sure you're reading that wrong. I think you're supposed to say the dragon's name at that part, not just name here. It's probably a placeholder. Oh, huh. That's what the prince is for. Hold on. That's impossible. Nobody knows the name of the original dragon. The only names that survived were Reshram, Zekrom, and Kiram. How are we supposed to bring it back then? Why just call it name here? <laughs> Fine. I was hoping to resurrect the original dragon today, but it seems like that's not happening. I'll find that name. I'll search every scroll, text, or book until I learn it. But for now, I'll split you to Kiram White and Zekrom. Come forth and serve me. You need the DNA splasher to do that. I'll deal with the two of you here and now. This is the end. You know, I don't like this. Kieran Watt's scary. I see which one he prefers. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So which one of these do you think is a bigger threat? The Salamence probably, yeah? They're both kind of th threatening. Sticky web. Hello, you can deal with the Metagross, I guess. Never mind. I, I can guess deal with dealt either. Yeah. Ow. Hey, do you think we're faster than a Curum? Time to find out. All right, cool. The answer is yes. You know what? Totally fine. Totally fine. I'm going to do something. I don't know exactly what. Actually, I'm going to go SSS. And I'm going to Earthquake. If Levani dies from this Earthquake. What? All right, never mind. Oh. That blood is not in your hands. I mean, surely it wouldn't die. It's a Levani. It's four times resistant to ground. Darmanitan. Toplosion. All right, so you might die. Mega Toplosion. That looks sick. <laughs> that looks real cool. I'm just going to be honest. Darmanitan might not live. Oh, Darmanitan lived. Oh, Darmanitan might not. Oh, well, I guess it did live. What ability do you think Mega Top Fusion's got? Do you don't think it's still Blaze? I feel like that would be really disappointing if it was. Oh, well. Sorry, Darmanitan, but you're probably going you're down. Hit the looks right. There we go. You know yeah, what? This fight was pretty, pretty easy, actually. There's what? Zekrom left? Yep. Just a Zekrom? Oh, it's Armor Zekrom. Armor Zekrom. Lucky Nora has a pretty competent team. <laughs> yeah. I was going through and making a short. Oh, it's Mega Flygon? The sick thing? 
cool story. That did so much damage. Uh, and I can't remember uh, what video it was. It was one where we were using, maybe it was Victoria, like in uh, Reborn, where her team just got bodied because her team was like purposely set to where it's like terrible against the enemy. I can't remember what it was, but that's what made me think of it. What? Impossible. Don't you know who I am? Kira, Reshram, Zekrom, what's happening? You didn't use the DNA splasher, yo. The ritual isn't done yet. Go back together. No, Zekrom, get back here. Reshram? Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You're not hurt, are you? You're all fools. This isn't the end of this. I'll bide my time. You better hold on tight to your friend, child. Because once I find that name, you're going to wish that restroom was only stolen from you. Kiram, let's go. We're leaving. That was scary. I'm glad nobody knows, but I can't help but wondering. What was the name of that dragon? Well, I have a theory. It's probably wrong, but Kiram's the shell of the original dragon rod. It's what's left after Reshram and Zekrom split from it. And there's the fact that the fusions were called Kiram Watt and Kiram Black. Well, I don't know if you remember this, but back at the Ultra Library, I was looking at a book on Unovan world structures. There was a page that talked about the legendary trio. Reshi was a prefix that meant truth. Zekra was a prefix that meant ideals. And nobody agrees on what Q means, but most translations, or most translations believe it's whole or complete. I never really, really questioned how little sense that made. Kiram is the opposite of complete, after all. Tain said that the original dragon was perfect, a symbol of different beliefs and working together. Maybe a more accurate translation of Q would be perfect. Wow, I never thought of that. Yeah, it's just a theory though. Uh, Nicole, the Infernal Cult said they were in the mountains, right? We have to go after them. If we strike them before they strike us, maybe we can have a chance. Oh, I nearly forgot. You remember you can transform into anything that has DNA of, right? So you shame its ability to get around even though you didn't have it actually have it? Now you take this. It's a hair from Celebi's head. Celebi I thought you said that was Celebi's head. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I did say head. Did say head. I said head. It's a, it, No, you said a hair from Celebi's head. I oh. read it as, it was just, it was just, this is Celebi's head. Uh, to use Tesseract, you need to find glowing areas where space, time is torn. If it's white, you can travel back in time. If it's red, you can move other objects through time. You're smart. I'm sure you'll figure it out. It's a lot less complicated than it sounds. Just make sure you're close to the rip. Best of luck. All right, so you just got Tesseract. So once you get this, I was... There's a bunch of stuff you can get now. It's time for backtracking. I knew we should have written it down. I didn't think we took it this quickly. Although I guess it's good that we did, so I actually kept it in mind. Hey, Nicole. Listen, I owe you one. For helping me out, and Rush Ram, too. If you need anything, like to train or something, just let me know, okay? I'll be glad to give you a hand. Can we have a lot of money? A lot of money? Anyways, I uh, I think uh, this has been an action-packed episode. Uh, there's nothing here on the rocks. We're going to get back. Uh, next episode, it looks like we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. Probably get some new uh, Delta Pokemon, which I'm really excited for. Make sure, again, to let us know whatever the question of the day was, because I've forgotten. My brain is potato, as I normally do. And uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to both of our channels, or Def's going to come at you with a stick. And I'm going to come at you with a... Pop tart, even though that's the question today. But, anyways, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Later.